promised you a return visit to Skipton Woods um, and today I've come up here. I've had to come into town to do some shopping. Town is bustling. The weather is so warm and everybody's out buying pies and ice creams and visiting the castle. But 10 minutes walk out of town up into these woods and it's the most peaceful, magical place. The trees are all in leaf. The birds are going crazy. Babbling river stream going through and the garlic is all out in flower everywhere you look the smell is all around me it's heady it's so strong i know i'm going to go home smelling of garlic i may be able to pick a few buds but most of it is in flower now um i just want to stay here i've got a book in my bag and i'm supposed to be doing errands and shopping but i think i'll just have to sit for 20 minutes with a book or just sit it is just lovely. If you could bottle this, if I could bottle this, I'd be a wealthy, wealthy woman. It just, it does you good. I believe people do tree bathing now, forest bathing, when they go and breathe in the oxygen given out by trees. And that's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like there's so much energy here. Lovely, lovely place. shining, the birds are going crazy and the may blossom is filling the air with sweet scent and according to the saying ne'er cast a clout ere may is out many people think that means may the month but it means once the may blossom is out you can put your summer clothes on so this is what's happening today this is our clothes storage with shelves and this is the only wardrobe space we have it's just that wide um, so we only have summer clothes or winter clothes out at any one time. So winter clothes have been dug out and folded up and put away. Oh, they're going to be put away. Summer clothes are all in these boxes. They've been stored under the bed since about November. So there's no in-between seasons on a boat. It's summer or winter. And um, I've decided it's going to be summer. So I've got to find room now for all this stuff in the wardrobes and all that stuff under the bed here we go we're off on a cruise a cold windy cruise yeah, it's a beautiful day but this <laughs> wind just will not stop will it it's been going on for weeks and it's a bit chilly but it's north northeasterly which is always the cold wind coming from yes. i don't know canada and up there somewhere Them but it's there. uh canada? yeah that would be northwest oh yeah it? that's i didn't i've got no level in geography as well but yeah Jesus. coming that way it's cold wind so what are we doing friend um we are going to b and q which or for, a home depot yeah in America. yeah because we need we hit a problem with our mooring and it's got no shade so the weather is warming up although it's cold today we've had a couple of hot days and we need a parasol and we we're gonna have a look for table and chairs yeah, aren't like we like a little table and chairs so we could have our dinner off we did attempt to fix up a sail shade <laughs> um but it didn't work that it well work, did it no. <laughs> so it we've decided we've just got to bite the bullet and buy there's no point in having a mooring and a nice little seating area. Neither of us like sitting in the sun, do we? No. So there's no point. We've got to spend a little bit of money and uh, make it comfortable. So we're travelling eight miles. We've got eight locks in the tunnel. We've done three locks yesterday and we stopped off at Barnoldswick for some shopping and uh, stayed overnight there. And now we're heading down uh, as far as Nelson. So the whole trip to B&Q it's going to take us four days. A four day trip. But that's okay. To the DIY store. <laughs> We've not been to Nelson before, so uh, it's something new for us. And, and another resident boater nearby popped off yesterday and got himself a van full of wood and came back within an hour. We, d we don't want anybody to get any things for us. We're quite happy to do this, but it's just what takes one person an hour it takes us four days. Yeah. <laughs> but what a lovely way. And in fact, we really, really enjoyed the cruise yesterday, didn't we? 
fantastic. It's just nice to get off the mooring and come out and do what we said we're going to do, yeah. which is keep cruising. You know. And something um, I noticed last night when we moored up, we were moored up in town. Bird song, even though we'd only gone a mile and a half, I think, was completely different. Yeah. So we're used to the little sounds and the sights of our mooring. Moored up in town, we were surrounded by blackbirds and sparrows. It was completely different sound, it was wasn't it? Town birds rather than country birds, yeah. but yeah, interesting. But the scenery here is absolutely stunning. We've got a tunnel coming up in about five minutes or so, and hopefully. We haven't missed the slot because you've only got a 10 minute slot to get through. If not, it doesn't matter because we've got coffee and chocolate cake. We're just sitting and having coffee and cake. <laughs> Well, here we are at Boroughford Locks, five locks to go. And this is the furthest west we've been on the Leeds Liverpool Canal, so it's new territory for us now. People have told us these locks are a nightmare. The gate's swinging open all the time. I've just closed this one and it's opened up again. So I did give the uh, paddles at the top of the lock a couple of turns just to open up so the water pushes the gates closed, but it doesn't seem to want to do it. And the real annoying thing about the locks on this canal is there's no footbridge across. There's no uh, rail to hold onto and cross the gates. So you have to walk all the way around in order to open the paddles on the other side. It's all good fun, all steps. Lovely old lock keeper's cottage. And good old Fran, she's got the mop out while uh, the lock's filling up. We got our knickers completely in a twist here. We thought there were five locks, but no, there are seven. So I jumped back on board at the last lock thinking that's it and uh, got around the corner and these two appeared. So ho-hum, we swapped jobs for the last two. He's a 
couple of numpties then. Okay, calamity. These beautiful old mills turned into living accommodation. Absolutely fabulous. I think I could uh, settle for one of those at the top. What do you think, Frank? No. So we ended up cruising yesterday for far longer than we expected and uh, we are now on the edge of Burnley um, but we turned around at the winding hold about a quarter of a mile behind us and disturbed an otter in the water on the edge of the canal. It was absolutely fantastic to see a huge thing like this is beautiful and uh, so we're moored here as I said on the edge of Burnley. We did a far, few miles more than we expected but uh, we had to moor up somewhere that we were happy. We were so knackered that we just walked up to the local Indian takeaway up there and got some curries for dinner last night. And there's plenty left over for curry for dinner tonight as well. So today we're going to go head back, uh, back to the um, DIY centres that we've marked off on the map and uh, maybe go back up the locks and more up the top of Boroughford locks. We're not sure yet exactly what we're doing, but uh, we're going to get going now because it's going to be a stinking hot day and uh, this is the best time to travel. Oh, there's Fran making herself look gorgeous. <laughs> it's working, but if my memory serves me well, this bridge has got a shopping trolley just as you approach on the left hand side so we've got to stick on to the right. Oh maybe it's the next bridge. <laughs> Four. Breakfast? Oh yes please. Don't crash my boat. <laughs> Well, we've just pulled in here for a half an hour or so because the DIY shed of glory, B&Q, is just behind there. So sad to say, we've got to go in there. Are you ready for this? You're going to love it, aren't you? I've got, I've got a list. She's got a list. b and Q is all right. I don't mind a and q It's like clothes shops, I can't bear. <laughs> Shoe shops. Nah. No way. I'm with you there. Which is a bit of a problem because my shoes are so old and tatty there, but I don't want to go and replace them. So Only want one. Just one, Frank. How are you doing, friend? My butt, mummy 
James got caught on the back of the chair and I nearly, nearly came off her. Well, we've come for a walk and this pound at Barrowford Lux is empty and some clowns have raised these paddles here and also the two at the bottom so the water's just gushing through this lock and uh, emptied the pound so uh, being the hero that I am I've dropped the paddles so hopefully that will fill up shortly because there's a lot of water actually coming down from the other lock so after about an hour walk we come back and this is the only water coming in the pound now and uh, still got some way to go gonna come up about another two and a half feet i reckon Morning doggies, had a nice snooze. Here we are on the last day of our little shopping expedition. Last lock and uh, I guess we'll be home in about 25 minutes. It's been fab actually, we really enjoyed it. It's been a nice little excursion. Weather's been fantastic. Massive, massive storms last night, but uh, that was most welcome. But yeah, anyway, looking forward to getting back and fixing up our patio equipment. <laughs> this is an unofficial turning point, a winding hole. Well, we have to turn so the boat can be facing the right way so it fits on our landing. I haven't yet uh, extended the other pontoon so we can moor both ways, that would be ideal, but it's always it offers a bit of entertainment. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please watch our others and consider becoming a patron or YouTube member and get our videos early without ads. Details in the description below. Mm -hmm.